Welcome back guys, it's been a while since I've made a video and I think it's about time I do. I had been working on a Broadway Limited AC6000 to be painted in CSX for the longest time and I just finished that up and I did send it to him. Um, it took way longer than I had expected and if you're watching I do greatly apologize. But that is done, So, and I got it out as quick as I could just because every day was another day over the time that I said I'd have it done. Um, so I got that out quick. I got some pictures of it and video, and hopefully I'll have that up sometime within the future. Um, near future, ideally. That way I can delete that stuff off my computer. But this is the layout. Welcome back. Nothing has changed. It's not a surprise. Literally the only thing I've worked on down here since the last video was that AC6000. Um, so I guess that's it. I will put the YouTube user names this link in the bottom um, if he wants me to and you can check out his channel to see what it finally turned out like. Um, I have a picture here uh, with me that I'll put in my AC6000 video to um, show you guys but uh, I guess I just I don't have it with me anymore so if you have questions feel free to ask. Um, it did take longer than expected and I think from now on, if I do any projects like that, I can't give a guarantee as to when I'll get it back to you. Um, it's just things come up and, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. So I can't give a guarantee when I'll get it back to you. Obviously, I'll do my best to get it back to you um, as quickly as possible. But this is a hobby that I run out of my basement. Um, and it's not like I, I just can't do it 20, you know, all day, every day. Some days I just don't have time. But I do my best. So um, if you are interested in weathering or painting or something like that, give me an email um, and I'll see if I can help you out. Uh, I have a bunch of projects up on my YouTube page that you can look at if you're interested. Um, news and announcements, I guess, is Atherin has released their ES44s, um, ACs and DCs, I guess. They'll be coming out. I don't know if they've done the DC yet, but that'll be coming out next June they say so we can probably expect to see it by next Christmas and that should be pretty neat I'd like to get some of those I'm actually probably gonna replace my Intermountain BNSF model with two Atherns just because I like the color on the Atherin better um, the Intermountain Norfolk Southern is great for me um, it has the LEDs which I really like and black is black it's gonna that's not going to change much, but I do want an ES44 to match my e, what is this? SD70 ACE. Oh boy, I'm forgetting my trans. Um, so that means that if you are interested in this ES44, which I've weathered a bit, um, to look like, I don't know, one that I saw out in Colorado. Um, if you're interested, I would probably be willing to sell that for you. To you, sorry. Uh, it's been so long since I've made a video feels weird a little bit but yeah if you're interested in that I do have the original box all the original paperwork and it's in pretty good nick so if you're interested let me know um, I do have a few other things here that I'm trying to get rid of it's because I don't use them and they're you know in great condition in their boxes it's a shame to just have them sit down here and decay um, but I have a Proto 2000 GP38-2 in Norfolk Southern and that has LEDs in it and I believe a DCC decoder as well. I have an RS-27 in, what is this, Conrail. And that's been weathered. It's kind of hard to see there. If you're interested in that, I do have some pictures I can send you. And finally is this CSX SD-45, numbered 8901. Um, all of them are in excellent shape. This, these two are flawless. This, I think, might have um, a few pieces that have fallen off, but they can all be put back on without a problem. Um, I guess that's it for those. So if you're interested in those, please give me a call, because they, well, not a call, an email or comment or something, because they will be helping the expansion of my layout, which, unfortunately, I plan to start, I think I planned to start it, the I had planned to start it like two years ago now, maybe even maybe a year, I'm not sure. But I need to get rid of these. So these have been advertised and I'm hoping maybe with the Christmas season someone will be interested in them for a grandson, a son, a daughter, anybody really that would want them. 
So that is going on. I will eventually be replacing these um, sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, these two, this one and this one, with a uh, two foot wide version that lays flush against the wall, um, which will give me a lot more space to walk around and work on things and also give me a longer track. A lot of people suggest that I connect these tables. Um, I cannot stress enough that that's not going to happen. Um, it's just too much work and I'm not going to do it. So, that's the end of that. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, this is, uh, as many of you will know, my Intermountain ES40 DC. And this is an operator's manual for a real one. Uh, those of you that are interested in prototypical kind of stuff, um, I hope this is legal. But, all this stuff... So, let's see, number is 7565 to 7609. Now, this is 7515, so it wouldn't really apply, but if you are one of the people that have the Intermountain 7608, this is your train. For your ditch lights, this piping stuff that looks like it's a Union Pacific. We've got our dash and all that kind of stuff, so I'm I've never really read through this, and I probably won't, but this is kind of interesting stuff. So if you have any questions about that, I can see if I can help you with something. But that's the operating manual for an ES40 DC. Look at that. So I guess that's about it, YouTube. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've got here. Um, let's see. Hope to clean off the layout a little bit. I got some tools here screwdriver thing, drill bit. Unfortunately, the drill bit I had, it fell off the table and it's gone bust, but I have this little mirror, which I don't know why that would be useful, but I have it, which is interesting. Uh, some pliers. Thankfully, my tools have actually been kind of, with these projects, gradually getting better. I have micro set, micro saw, so my decals usually come out looking pretty good. Um, I'm just really excited to hopefully finally get rid of these huge tables and start something much lighter and much more precise um, which I think many of you have seen before uh, if not just look at some of my past videos and that was really the only new thing that I had worked on for a while so I'm sure it's in just about every video uh, I think if there's anything else well obviously if you have any questions for me um, send me an email or a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as possible I just realized that I have a ton of comments I need to go through, and if any of them are questions, I'll try to answer those. I do believe my inbox is completely empty, so if you sent me a message at some point asking about a train or a weathering project or a painting thing of some sort, send it again because I don't have it. Um, I'm sorry if I lost it somehow, but if you're still interested, let me know. So I guess that's about it line these up here on top of this. I am looking forward to the Atherin release and at this point after having owned the Intermountain Jeevos and the Atherin SD70 ACE um, it's a really tough call but I think I'd have to recommend the Atherin over the Intermountain just because the Atherin has more detail I found the paint to be more accurate and the drive performance has been flawless. Now the original runs, uh, num mine number 9210, did, did and does have a number of issues. Um, the new ones don't, but some of these issues included, and I found on mine, warped trucks where all the wheels don't sit perfectly flat, um, an unsealed speaker box, which I've taken care of. Now, that's not a big problem because you can just um, email Atherin, and they'll send you a new one for free, and you can put that in without... It wasn't too hard. I think I have a video up. If not, I'd be more than happy to help you. But the new ones, they have improved from what I've seen and heard their quality control. And their newer ones are of much higher quality and they're a bit more precise. And the bugs and issues that have been on these ones have been taken care of. Uh, specifically the speaker box, which is now sealed. They have a new metal piece for that that they put in, um, which I've actually put in this. And the warped trucks are no longer an issue. Um, so I think I would have to recommend the SD70 ACE 
um, over the Athern, I mean over the Intermountain Jivo. Now I know if you're a GE person that's going to be different because it's an SC70 ACE and an Intermountain Jivo. Um, so if you do like the GE locomotives, the Intermountain's a good way to go, but remember that the Athern is coming out with their Jivos this summer, supposedly, so probably next fall, or next winter, or one spring from now, but um, those are coming. These are great though, they have their LED lights in them, which uh, Athern has never really been too interested in, I don't know why, but that uh, that's coming out. So, stay tuned, hopefully I'll have an Athern Jivo for you at some point. It's been, uh, I guess, four years in the waiting over that. In September 2008, I saw an SD70 ACE and a Jivo out in Colorado, which was just a pretty cool experience. So I'm trying to recreate that at some point. And I just like the, um, the GE evolution with the BNSF logos. But I will say that this Athern, after improving it myself, which I have videos up of, it is a great locomotive, and the new ones are definitely going to be much better. Um, that's not to say this is without issues. I need to put a new circuit board in it. But for the most part, if you're willing to do a little bit of work, the old Athern SD70 ACEs are good and the new ones I'm sure are great. Um, if you're a Norfolk Southern buff like me, then you might um, want to take a look at these. So, for those of you that have been af asking those questions, which I've gotten a lot of, um, it's really a tough call, a lot of it's preference, but technically I would say the Athern has been better over, I guess I've had it for at least a year now. Uh, Modeltrainstuff.com is where I get just about everything. And that's where I recommend. They have good prices and their service is great. The original Atherin I got had, I don't know, for some reason it, there was something wrong with it. And within 30 days, they, um, well, since I bought it within 30 days, they replaced it just on the spot. So great service there, and their pricing is close to unmatched, give or take $10. So I guess that's what uh, I've got to say. There will be more stuff coming here. Hope to see, um, I don't really know what I hope to see. You guys are still interested in trains, I guess. I keep getting comments and notice subscribers once in a while. So this hobby's still going. So thank you for watching and look for more videos in the future.